Welcome back. It's World Breastfeeding Week, and there are so many great resources for moms and moms to be that sometimes it's nice just mm -hmm. to talk to a fellow nursing mm -hmm. mom about your breastfeeding journey. So Rebecca yeah. is joining us, and she thought she would share some info. Yeah, I think this is a great conversation. It is because a lot of moms don't have those resources, mm -hmm. or they don't know that they're out there. So I'm going to give you a bunch of great resources that you guys can turn to if you need lactation consultants, if you just want to talk to other moms. There's a lot of mom groups about it. Lots of cool stuff. I mean, I can talk breastfeeding. Woo, we can take the whole I hour. I forget it's a lot. that you have a baby because <laughs> it's just crazy to me. Your baby's only 10 months old. She's only 10 months. So we nursed my first for two and a half years. I'm hoping she'll go longer. We're 10 months strong. And I know nursing moms out there feel my pain. It's tough. Nursing, you know, working tough. mom, yeah. you do it all. It's tough, but it's okay. There's a lot of great resources. All right. And, you know, let's start with the men in our lives and the leaders in our lives. Mayor Ron, he just declared... National Breastfeeding Month here in San Antonio for the month of August. I Thanks, mean, all Mayor the, I know it, it, and it might not be a lot, but it is a lot to moms who mm -hmm. maybe feel undersupported or underappreciated. So to have men in our lives and leaders in our lives kind of just protect breastfeeding and you know make a proclamation about it is a huge deal. So that yeah. was really cool. So I also want to talk about a couple tips. Okay. Uh, milk supply. We talk about going to work. A lot of moms mm -hmm. have a tank in their milk supply. Well, one reason it could be is because you're not getting enough calories. Okay. And I know that's simple. You've probably heard it before, but it really is important. You've got to uptake your calories. And good ways to do that are things that have um, like fatty acid chains that are really good for you, like coconut oil. So okay. mommies, if you make smoothies out there, just add a big old chunk full of coconut oil in there. Add some oatmeal. Both of these are really good ways that'll uptake your milk supply if you've seen it tank, whether you've gone back to work or a lot of times when you're sick and you're not eating enough, you know, you want ultra mm -hmm. hydrate, you see a low supply there too. I witnessed it last, um, last year and I called my consultant and she said, well, how much are you eating? And I said, well, not much, I don't feel good. And that's why the minute I started ah. my calories up, the good foods, sweet potatoes, all this good stuff, you'll see uh, an increase for okay. sure. So that's a really good Calories tip and hydration. Calories are important. And we want to aim for like 3,000 calories. I mean, that's my excuse as to why I had <laughs> lost the baby weight. Yeah, I said, because I'm still nursing and Lita needs it. Good so that's deal. A good tip. And then you always think about hydration, right? It is so important that you drink lots and lots of water, but you can get hyper hydrated if you're not balancing your electrolytes. So not only should you drink a lot of water, you need to replenish with sodium potassium. My favorite, favorite go-to because it's so easily available is Body Armor. Um, this is Kobe Bryant's drink. Uh -huh. He was a super health conscious. Um, this is such a great way to replenish your electrolytes. And I've heard moms who have tried this and just drastically increase their milk supply. So if you have things like Gatorade, or you can find these at HEB, Walmart, anywhere, try these out. They're really, really going to help because you need the potassium, you need the sodium. When you drink too much water, not enough salt, goes down. Yeah. So you want to bring it back up. So what about some some groups out there that moms can connect with yeah. for help? There's a lot of great groups there. There's a La Leche League. They're all over the nation. There's one in Texas. There's one here in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. The Milk Group are good friends of mine. They have lactation consultants. I made this graphic for you right there. The Birth and Breastfeeding Alliance is out there. And then right now through the month of August is Latch On SA. So they're having so many events throughout the month that uh, I mean swag bags, um, discussions and forums. So if you guys need any extra help or resources, just reach out to one of these um, organizations. They're fabulous. Excellent and of course, information. You can reach out to me because I yes. love talking about breastfeeding. I love it's that. It's my jam. Well, so. thank you for sharing all that this morning. And of course, Rebecca is going to put all of that information on our website, which is saliving.com. And then if you've got questions or you want to reach out to Rebecca, you can connect with her on social at Rebecca Sanchez TV.